Hi friends, welcome you to the entomology class. In this class, we are going to see and discuss about what is lac insect and their importance and their biology. I am your teacher Vignesh. Let's get into the topic. Lac insect. The name itself indicates that it is producing one of the commercial product that is lac. What is lac? Lac is a natural resin of the animal origin. There are two kinds of resins available. First one is the natural resin and another one is the synthetic resin. In the natural resin there are two kinds which is based on their origin. First one is the plant origin, second one is the animal origin. There are a lot of plant origin resins are available plenty in nature but in case of animal origin there are very few. One among the fewest resin is our lac. Lac is commercially used in the production of paints, varnishes and some of the ayurvedic medicines. Even in the coating of the tablets also the lac is used. So lac is having its own value in the market. Totally there are 9 generations of lac insect but only one that is our Keria laca or Lacifer laca is the only genera which produces the recoverable or the economic lake. So culturing these insects and producing the lake commercially is called as the lake culture. When we see it in the plant origin mostly they are produced due to the wounds or the any infestation that is created by insects or the disease. When we look into the animal origin that is our lake which is produced by the lake insect as they are highly immobile insects only few hours of their life they will be moving or wandering here and there mostly they will be living their immobile life once they are sticking to the plants they are never going to move any time of their whole life cycle so in order to protect themselves from the natural enemies and the uh, biological condition around them they produce the encrustation that is a protective covering which is our commercial product or the lake being the insect, the lac is coming under the Pylum orthoptera and the class Insecta and coming under the order Hemiptera and the suborder Homoptera as they are having four and hind wings in the same size and coming under the superfamily Cochoidea which is the scale superfamily and the family of the Keridae with the genus Keria or Lacifer and the species Leca. In nature, most of the scale insect they secrete the hard encrustation. If we see it in case of coconut scales, or if we take it uh, in the previous classes, also we have discussed about the scale insect in the mulberry plants, which is also producing the hard encrustation in order to protect themselves from the external environment. Lac insect, being the scale insect as it is placed in the Cacoidea superfamily, these lac insects secrete the browny substance and live inside that. The secretion comes from their hypodermal gland or their uh, external uh, dermal glands which is located in all over their body. They secrete the substances and live inside. The substances is called the cell, C-E-L-L, -L, in which they will be living inside throughout their life cycle. And when the particular cell is been scrapped out, it is called as the shellac used for the commercial purposes. These are the key points why lac cultivation is so important in the tribal areas because it avoids the migration with the available resources. They are uh, cultivating the lac insect with the low investment and the high return commodity is lac. So it assures the source of income during the drought years also. And it do not harm the host tree that is naturally available forest trees in and around the hilly areas and they mostly do not harm any. Um, major defect to the trees. We look into the host trees and their uh, strains in the later classes. Those host trees are easily survivable in the drought areas in the wastelands. So these are all the importance why the lac cultivation is so important in the areas of tribals. India is the major contributor in case of the lac production as we are producing around 24,000 to 65,000 tons per year we are producing around 65% of the world production and our neighboring countries like Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, 
Vietnam and China they are all also involved in the lac production major producing state in our India is the Jharkhand and the Chhattisgarh uh, which is contributing around 40% of the of the whole uh, production in India from the historical point of view itself Indians were well known for the lac cultures as there are hints uh, in our Indian books like uh, Mahabharata it is having the hints of the Gauravas uh, growing the lac insects. In 1782 Dr. Kerr published the book on the account of lac insect which made the revolution in the understanding of one of the commercial product that is lac and which is continued by the lac Indian Lac Research Institute which is uh, came into act from 1925 in the Namkum. Uh, near the uh, Ranchi in Bihar uh, which is now in the Jharkhand state the Indian Lac Research Institute is later turned into Indian Institute of Natural Resins and Guns which is located in Jharkhand now when we look into the statewide share in the lac production we can clearly see that Jharkhand is contributing around 58% of the total production and Chhattisgarh is contributing around 16 staying in the second highest producer followed by Maharashtra which is contributing around 12% of lac production and all other states are contributing very less. Let us look into the uh, biology of lake. Female lake insect in their immature stages especially during the first instar they will be having all the appendages like antenna and their uh, uh, locomotion uh, uh, organ like legs and seta all these organs will be presented during their immature stage in the first instar when they go for the molding in the first mold itself they will be losing all these apparatus like legs and uh, all the all the apparatus and they are reaching towards the adult their uh, only appendages that will be visible outside will be the uh, rostrum and the spiracles and the anus regions when we look into the male they will be having all the appendages throughout the life cycle as they are uh, reaching towards the adult stage they will be having the two forms which is the winged form and the um, wingless forms males in their first instars they will be having all the appendages and after the first molding they will lose all the appendages and totally the lac insect goes uh, around the three molding in their life cycle when they are moving to the third mold uh, these males they will be regenerating all these organs like legs and the winged form will be the wings and the males are the only cast which can move around or the mobile cast is the only males females once they are fixed in the twigs and the foot resources they are not going to move anywhere their only job is to lay eggs inside and produce the lake as we already told that they are mostly immobile in their nature once they are fixed in the twigs they, they will be called as cells based on their sizes we can identify either it is the male cell or the female cell if we see the female cell mostly they will be in oval shape and the only part which will be visible outside will be the anal tubercle and the dorsal spine and the mouth part will be the very rudimentary in case of males they will be a little bit elongated compared to the females females starts to lay eggs inside the cell itself as soon as the egg laying is completed the female cells will be started to shrink on which will be visible as the yellow dots with this we can identify that the egg laying is over later on when the egg laying is over and the hatching is started we can identify with the cells turning into the orange spots within two hours of the egg laying mostly all the larvas will be emerging so it is called as viviparous nature of the egg i think you'd be familiar with the term viviparous which means that emergence of the larva as soon as the egg has been laid and the larva that is emerging from the from the egg in the huge number they are called as a crawler and it is called as swarming in case of legs the emergence of larva is called as swarming the first instar larva looking for the settling areas in the host they will be moving to the right part and when they find the right part they will be sticking to the area and they will never move anywhere they will become immobile after going to the first mold they will lose all the parts 
in case of males they will turn into pupa and the pupa turn into the adult with the which may be the wingless one or the winged one uh, which is uh, following the complete metamorphosis but in case of females they don't follow the complete metamorphosis mostly they are incomplete metamorphosis only the adult cells they will be changing in the shape as I already told that the only anal spiracles will be visible outside so after hatching from the pupal stage the males will be going on walking on the cells on the twigs to find the female cells which will be visible with the anal tubercles so the male will fertilize the female cells uh, with the anal tubercles and as soon as the fertilization is over the female cells start to produce lot of uh, incrustation that is lake it will produce lot of lake production will be involved as soon as the fertilization takes place and the male will be dying after after two to three days of uh, mating they they will be not having that much commercial importance as that of the females so major major producer of the lake will be the female cast of the organism so the incrustation will get longer and longer as the days pass by and the females will be laying their egg inside the shell itself and the cycle continues this total cycle uh, ranges between 6 to 8 months based on the different strains which we will be looking into in the coming lectures this is the outlay of the whole biology when the eggs are laid inside the incrustation and the eggs hatch immediately which is called as viviparous and the first instar names they will be emerging from the cell which is called as a swarming which is coming from the opening near the anal region of the female which is the only gap that will be uh, in the shell and the nymph will be in deep red color and the minute boat shaped which will be having the uh, black eyes and the three pairs of legs only during the first instars the first instar names are called as crawlers as i already told then they will be searching the tender branches and settle them in there and they will start to feed by piercing the stool um, stylets and get settled and they do not move afterwards after one to two days they secrete the lake or resins covering the covering them called as a shell and the resin glands all over the body except the mouth part they will be covering it leaving the uh, parts like mouth parts anus and the breathing pores as the insect grows the secretion also increases covering the whole body of the insect and the males after emergence they will be walking over the lac incrustation which will be fertilizing the female cells present inside the cell so the females after mating they will be growing in uh, huge uh, times which is very fast and secrete the lac abundantly so we call the major producer of lac will be the females the nymphs will be looking like this which is the red color which is the first in star one so with this we are coming to the conclusion of our first class of lac insect the next class we will be looking into the scientific method of lac cultivation let us move into the question part question one emergence of first in star nymph in lac is called as absconding swarming eclosion or evasion Second question is major lake producing state in India Jharkhand Bihar MP or UP which is the major lake producing country in the world Thailand Indonesia Myanmar or India fourth question shape of the male and female cell is dash and dash respectively whether it is oval and elongated or elongated and oval round and semicircle cigar and round males regains their appendages after first mold second mold third mold fourth mold the sixth question is orange spot in the female cells indicates what oviposition is over swarming is about to happen fertilization is completed or none of the above your seventh question is when the cell incrustation increases after fertilization after emergence of nymphs after third instars or when the female reaching its adult stage the eighth question is which sex has more commercial importance in case of silk and lac respectively female and female female and male 
मेल एंड मेल मेल एंड फीमेल फाइंड द राइट आंसर्स एंड कमेंट इट बिलो गाइस सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास एंड